It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? And it's live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Paulo Dybala starts alongside Rodrigo De Paul in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. Lionel Messi. The verdict is offside here. Olivier Giroud an important interception and it's a quality pass oh yes what a classy goal and make no mistake there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. And back underway. 1 0 it is. This looks promising out wide. Dibala. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Dembele.
on to Messi. And France come away with it. Olivier Giroud. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And that'll roll through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. Messi. On to Di Maria. Lionel Messi. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Kunde. Now Griezmann. Good move in the making from France. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. And a chance to restore their advantage. It's still alive. Well, nothing comes of it. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Alvarez. Extremely sloppy in possession. Rabio, immaculate placement. Well, the keeper committed himself. Played in by Griezmann. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Promising move this from France. The high press was very much on. Tempele. Well, he was close to goal, but that's a moment he would like to erase from history. McAllister. Well, a good tackle. Alexis McAllister. Lionel Messi. Oh, big chance! Oh, it's in! They take the lead here, and just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Many Rabio, and with that, the attack fizzles out. De Paul, here's Alvarez, and return to Messi. Di Maria, 
very alert defending to cut off the supply. Bodies forward and the break looks on. A real opening now. Oh, incredible save and he snuffed out the danger. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averse it. Well, they fancy a short one. The delivery from Dembele. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Messi. Rodrigo de Paul. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Kylian Mbappe. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation, and he's made headway. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Alvarez. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Dybala. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Giroud. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Giroud has eyes for goal! Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Failed to keep hold of it. Hernandez. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Messi. And space to exploit, maybe. Di Maria. Can he find the net? Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Dembele. Here's Mbappe. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Superb block. De Paul. Di Maria. Here's Alvarez, he's given it straight to the opposition. Plenty of support here. And Giroud now at the controls, just needs to get rid of it. Marcos Acuna. Alexis McAllister. Messi. The supporters want to see him have a go. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. And with that, the attack fizzles out.
So a personnel change then. Griezmann. Hernandez. Excellent defending. Who can he pick out? Marcos Acuna. Now Messi. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And blocked for now. Well, we're inside the final 15 minutes. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Not the pass he had in mind. Argentina will get the throw in. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Kunde. Dembele on the ball. Aurelien Chouameni. And this situation could be dangerous. Alvarez. And now passing it through. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And Dybala wasn't going to miss this one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. But it comes down to the final five minutes. Now well, Molina. On to Messi. Getting in there to intercept. And the pass could do damage. Well, high and more than a bit hopeful. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. Rodrigo de Paul. Di Maria. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions!
They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.